Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place I feel like I have a little bit of body dysmorphia Sophia okay. Duncan! Guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel It's Sophie and in today's video or this week's vlog um, I am showing you guys my preparation for graduation. So everything leading up to it and some chaotic things in between graduation um, day and a couple of days after. Um, I am editing right now and I realized that my intro and a couple of other clips actually got deleted. But you guys, this video is a little bit chaotic, but we all love a little chaotic, okay? Um, if you guys like this video while you're watching it, please give me a big thumbs up. And let me know down below if you are graduating this year or have graduated or whatever, you know? And let me know down below as well your coffee order because in my next clip, you guys will be seeing that I went to Walmart and I actually got some clips of me going to Walmart, but that actually got deleted as well, unfortunately. But I did end up showing you guys like a little bit of how I make my coffee and etc. So you guys will be seeing that in the next clip. Anyways, let's get right into this video. Let's go. Okay, so I am back. I actually wasn't able to show you guys my little Walmart trip because I was in a frenzy because I'm like, I came all the way here and I did not find my creamer, but I ended up asking one of the workers and he helped me look for it and it was actually behind a whole bunch of other creamers. So I got me two. I always get two because like I mentioned earlier, this particular Walmart is a little bit further from my home compared to the other one so this will last me about a week and a half or so and i don't know if you guys could see it the lighting is kind of too bright but you guys can see it says cinnamon churro up here and i started making my own iced coffee i would say probably about two three years ago because i used to always spend money on dunkin donuts and starbucks and i felt that they never gave their all in the coffee and me i love coffee so much that just by the look of the coffee i could already tell if it's going to be um good or not and nine times out of ten they were never good like and if you want something extra in it or if you want it to be extra good you gotta pay extra money like babes i'm already paying for this damn iced coffee why am i being charged three to four dollars for little extra pumps of liquid sugar and etc so i took it upon myself to go on tiktok and instagram and see and see how other girls like to do their coffee and i went through the phase of the french vanilla i went through the phase of the caramel macchiato which i love caramel but in my opinion i really do not like the caramel macchiato i feel like it has kind of like a bitter taste so right now in my cup i only have french well vanilla starbucks ground coffee um i have some caramel in there and i also have some cinnamon dulce um liquid sugar and now i'm just going to add in my creamer yes i am that extra you guys and if i do have to get coffee on the run what i will do is i would literally go and give my ass coffee but i'll bring my own liquid sugar and i'll bring my own caramel to mix it in together or whatever ingredients that i need to make the coffee taste better because listen if my cup of coffee doesn't taste good you know and i would love to like you know experiment with other types of coffees and etc but baby we're on a budget okay i don't have time to be spending so much money on coffee only like you know girl like we need a budget we need to save period so I'm gonna give this a taste test. I hope that is good. I don't have like a mixing thing. Let me see if I have a mixing thing. I also grabbed while I was in there, I also um, grabbed me some deodorant as well as some toothpaste. Um, they actually did not have my deodorant that I like either, but that's neither here or there, baby. Okay, because it's okay. We could just choose another one. So let's give this a taste test. It hits the spot. Mm. I might just want a little, a little bit more creamer. I'm the type of person when it comes to coffee, I like more cream than coffee, but I end up putting 
almost half of a cup of coffee so that's the reason why i need so much creamer but anyways you guys we're about to go inside of home goods right now i am in need of a lunch box and my next stop will be the mall um yeah the mall because i graduate on monday i'm actually getting my bachelor's on monday and i do not have an outfit but that's on me though because i should have ordered something but i'm kind of last minute and was super indecisive on what i really wanted and now i am stuck in this predicament so we're gonna go into home goods right now look for a lunch box and then the next time will be tomorrow so honey making some iced coffee at home okay period and again i apologize about the lighting because it's raining and super gloomy outside so that's why the lighting kind of looks off but anyways let's go right into home goods and get this lunchbox okay period Okay, so my home goods trip was actually unsuccessful. So I'm looking for a lunchbox that kind of has like a cooler with it, like those ice pack coolers just to keep my food warm. I mean, food cold, um, just in case um, I don't have a fridge and etc. to put my food in. But I didn't find it here. You guys can see that I showed you guys a little bit of um, the lunchboxes and what they look like. Um, I don't know just it just wasn't what i was looking for so i'll try to go to tj maxx on another day because right now i'm just waiting for the mall to open and i wanted to get back to that conversation because actually i believe it's called um i've been on my fitness journey for the last probably i would say two years consistently and i've seen a lot of progress within my body but i feel like i haven't seen the progress that i truly want to see and I think that's just me just being hard on myself because I changed my diet up. I changed the way um, I eat. I think that this is like kind of the most calories I will have, honestly and truthfully, in a day, which is my coffee because I do not negotiate my coffee. I do try my best to buy sugar-free um, liquid syrup. Um, it tastes the same in my opinion as the regular liquid syrups. But um, yeah, I feel like that's the reason why I haven't been able to find an outfit because I always tell myself I wouldn't look good in a specific outfit when in reality, I shouldn't be looking at how good I look, but how good I feel. Because sometimes an outfit might not be the best looking outfit, but it's something that you feel the best in. Like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but that I feel like that's the reason why I haven't been able to really find an outfit and I waited so long to find something because I kept telling myself I wanted to find the perfect fit, the perfect fit. And there is no perfect fit because I'm not going to like it anyways, kind of, you know? So it's like, I'm just getting it just to get it not really fully fully going to enjoy it or like it so i've struggled with that in the past and that is one of the main reasons why like i don't really like to wear dresses because i have like back fat that i've been working on for the longest and this is like a super transparent moment honestly and truthfully that i don't really talk about much but yeah like my arms sometimes i don't like the way my arms feel um when people always tell me that they're wrong with my arms but you know when you are judging yourself from the inside and looking at yourself in the mirror you may see insecurities and etc that other people may not see and i think that that's just something that i have to kind of get over and conquer um so we'll see what i find in the mall today i do have an idea of what i want i'm going for like a leather pants slash bodysuit look i didn't want to wear a dress and etc because i feel like that's just so typical if i do find a dress i want it to be something like flowy and nice like not too really um body figuring tight you know so we'll see 
but anyways you guys this was my little mini rant about body dysmorphia and insecurity so i'm gonna keep sipping on my coffee because right now it's only 10 25 and unfortunately the mall do not open until 11 and it's actually starting to rain so it's a good thing i got in my car when i did so yeah you guys you guys can see that it is also possible to do your own coffee at home i showed you guys a whole bunch of liquid sugars inside of home goods but walmart has some tj maxx has some home goods has has some but i find that it's more affordable at home home goods and at tj maxx because you can literally get a big bottle for like seven dollars and when you go into store you get like a small bottle for like four or five dollars so why not spend a little extra cash to get the bigger bottle and it lasts you a while so cheers you guys wishing you guys or hoping you guys are having a beautiful day right now let me know down below if you guys struggle with any insecurities or whatever this is an open space so I'll see you guys when I'm heading to the mall. Okay, so my mall run was not a success at all. I went into Forever 21 and I found a couple of jumpsuits, but none of them fit me the way I wanted them to. And this one was absolutely a no-go for me. I couldn't even zip it up and it was super, super see-through. So it was a no from me. Okay, guys, so really quickly, I just tried on all of these three jumpsuits and none of these fitted me the way I wanted it to fit me. So I'm going to try to go to another store to see what the store has, like a jumpsuit or leather pants and bodysuit. So hopefully I find something, but yeah, but this is my fit for today. Just leggings and a jacket. Yeah, so I tried all these and none of them fit the way I wanted to, so okay you guys so i have a little bit of an update so i have been helping my friend move all day today so i have not gotten a chance to go to another mall yesterday at the mall i could not find anything that i wanted um i believe the last thing you guys seen was me trying on the jumpsuits um at forever 21 and honestly and truthfully they were not giving what i thought that they was going to give so i'm not confident in it so i'm not gonna get it which i didn't get um i'm supposed to visit another mall today but it closes at nine it's currently 3 23 right now so we'll see if i end up having time to end up going to that mall but if not then tomorrow i will definitely try to go to the same mall again that i went to yesterday or try to visit like a clothing store or something of that sort but yeah you guys it is super hot out here it's literally like 95 96 degrees and it doesn't sound that hot we just say the degrees but when you in that sun yeah it's 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 hot so i'll give you guys another little update um if i do end up going to the mall again today um or to another clothing store today so yeah hey guys so i literally just opened this u-haul and yeah like baby i did that okay a little bit of reading instructions and we can do it, okay? Let me set y'all down. Let's sit down here. This floor is so dirty, but it's okay because I'm dirty and sweaty. But yeah, you guys, like, moving is definitely a process. Like, it's a lot to do when you're moving. Super hot day. Literally so hot. It doesn't make any sense how hot it is. But my muscles looking good. So, I'm actually not mad that I skipped out on the gym yesterday because, boy, oh boy, I would have been so sore to actually um, lift, like, anything or help with anything. So, I'm glad that I did not um, go to the gym yesterday. And in here, it smells super funky. So, let me get my up, okay? Because, baby, it's funky. Okay, so, update. There was a very big couch right here. That took us almost like 40 something minutes to really get out and put it into the U-Haul, but we did it. So now we just have some boxes left. We just took out her bed frame and bed. And yeah, so the process is moving along, but we have been moving since 9 a.m. this morning. Um, she had like a vinyl wrap on her countertops and it literally took us almost an hour to take it off because we didn't have the proper vinyl wrap paper remover so yeah that's a little bit update of the process it's super hot i'm sweaty my hair is a mess but i'll check back in with you guys in a bit 
good morning guys it is the next morning yesterday i was super 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 exhausted um today i'm planning on trying to go to a store again to see if i can find an outfit but before i do that tomorrow's my graduation and i really want my hair to be out and very fluffy so i was originally originally yeah i was originally going to wash out my hair and remove the product that's in my hair right now but if i do that i have a big chance of my hair to just be flat with no volume so i'm just going to add in some gel well wet my hair add in some gel and we'll see how it goes and looks from there but yeah you guys i really hope that i could find something because huh, i am just stressed at this point at this point i'm just trying to look for anything that i feel like i would look nice in and my hair is definitely giving flake city because I guess the products that I put in my hair um, the past week has not really been a well mixture or like a great combo together. So anyways, yeah, that is the update for right now. So I'm about to do my hair and then I'm just going to be using my wet line gel, which is my go to gel. And I'll come back and show you guys once I'm prepped and ready to go okay you guys i made it to the mall but the actual store that i wanted to come to was called love culture and they no longer have that store here so i'm basically just going to try and find another store that kind of sells fast fashion um i am on a budget i'm not trying to spend too much money but i am trying to find something that i could wear multiple times because i am not one of those people that just buy something to wear for one outfit or one day and not wear it again so we'll see what i find and yeah okay so right now i came into steps new york thinking i'll be able to find the leather pants and shirt that i was looking for or should i say bodysuit and honestly and truthfully i truly did not see anything that i liked i know that all of these may look like good options but when i have something specific in mind that's what i go for i try to be open-minded by looking at different dresses and different tops and etc but they just weren't my style and it just wasn't giving what i thought it was going to give so once again i had to scratch everything on the surface board to go back into the drawing board and I honestly just ended up wearing one of the outfits that I actually had already. It wasn't graduation appropriate in my opinion, but I still went with it since it was so last minute. Okay, you guys, it is currently literally 4 o'clock and I've been out since 12. I've been running around trying to find an outfit or something that I feel would look nice on me. And I went all around town. I settled for this dress, but um, at the store that I bought it at, I actually couldn't try it on. It's called Discovery. So I'll see how I like it when I try it on and we'll see if it's a go. But right now I am super hungry, so I'm stopping at Chipotle. Chipotle is actually one of my favorite, I don't know if I should call it fast food, but Chipotle is one of my favorite places to eat at because it's a healthier option and I'm not a big fan of McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's and all those other things. I would much prefer to eat Chipotle. So I'm about to go inside now. I was debating should I eat here or at home and I'm still not sure yet. So we'll see okay guys so i am back home i originally planned to eat at chipotle but inside i just wasn't comfortable because i'm still getting used to eating alone um i usually always have someone with me when i'm eating out but today i didn't so i told myself that i was going to try to eat um outside or something like that but number one it's kind of very hot outside and number two i was that i would much prefer to come here and to just watch like a show that I'm really into, you know, I don't know. So for my bowls, I usually just get white rice, black beans, um, a little bit of chicken for protein, even though I do not like meat that much. Um, pico, sour, sour cream, corn, and some cheese. I used to get a bowl and like a tortilla on the side to make a burrito and then leave the rest of my rice to eat after. But I am on my fitness journey, so I don't think that that would be the best thing for me to do. So I just go ahead and get this. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this and watch my show. And I'll probably try on my dress after I'm done eating. And my man, my man, my man, he said he wants to take me to the movies today to watch Barbie. So I'm super excited about that. 
the Barbie movie starts at 6 it's currently 4 40 so I have about an hour and a half really to eat relax until he comes and then head to the Barbie movie and this is how my hair is looking right now which I really love the way my hair is looking because I can tell the volume is going to be chef's kiss tomorrow um, I was supposed to go to Dollar Tree to get myself a headband to kind of duct tape or glue to my cap for my cap and gown so that it could sit on my head the way I want it to and I could still look you know fashionable or whatever so we'll see if I end up doing that but yeah you guys I'm about to eat and if you're eating right now as well bon appetit okay I ended up going to Flippers to watch the Barbie movie. We tried to buy some tickets online at AMC, but it was sold out literally everywhere and Flippers was the second option, which I really did not mind at all. I just wanted to watch the Barbie movie. I did not care where I watched it since I haven't watched a movie in so long. And in a couple of seconds, I'll be showing you guys how it looks on the inside of the movie theater. Very spacious, very nice and big, but of course you cannot record while you are in the movie, so I did not record. And I'm also going to show you guys that I went on a Target run and I found this dress. But I did not think that it was appropriate. Neither did it shape or frame me the way I wanted. So I did not get this dress. But still a cute option though. Good morning you guys. It is the day of graduation and I am a mess. Honestly, I still have not found anything. I'm on my way right now to go return one of the dresses that I bought yesterday that I did not end up liking on me. Um, I visited Target this morning. Yes, girl, Target. That's how desperate I was to find something. And I did not end up finding nothing that I really wanted to wear. I found a dress, but that dress wasn't really um, a dress that would be appropriate for the event. So I did not get it. And sorry if the lighting is so off. It's just um, the natural sunlight that's throwing off the lighting. But right now, I'm going to see if I could go to Rainbows or Rainbow, I should say, and see if I'll be able to um, find something. So. I don't know you guys if not I just have to stick with what I got which is my graduation photo shoot dress which I did not want to wear that in the first place but at this point I might not have a choice so I'll keep you guys updated and yeah you guys it's currently 10 a.m. and my ceremony starts exactly at 3 what is he doing so as you guys can see at Rainbow, I really did not find much at all. Um, there were some things that I felt like could have been appropriate, but then again, I also did not feel that they were my style. So again, I was just trying to ramble around, trying to find something just to see what I would be what I would be able to put together. But unfortunately, I did not see anything. But I ended up wearing just something that I had in my closet, and I just called it a day because at this point, it was too late to find something. We'll continue the same journey here at FIU, determined to make you the person you are today. Your next chapter will challenge you in ways you can't even imagine yet. But you have done what it takes to prepare for it. You are armed with the knowledge and bolstered by the gift you now share with all other FIU Panthers who have crossed the stage before you. You are the people whose ideas, decisions, and actions are... a couple days after graduation exactly about three days after graduation today is thursday graduation was on monday and that is the last thing that you guys had seen graduation went pretty well um overall i had a great experience um some things didn't go according to plan but that is okay right now i just came from the gym i actually went to the gym a little bit later today compared to my usual times but that's okay because i still got the workout in um, right now I'm at Walmart and I'm about to get me some coffee because 
I ran out of my favorite coffee and you guys know I'm on a budget and I'm not trying to spend money on Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts so we're gonna go into Walmart and get me my coffee um, I have to go to the car shop because my car is giving me a little bit of a sound that I don't like I also need to go put gas and I also need to find a way to try and vacuum my car because baby this is filthy okay and yeah you guys I'm supposed to be going to basketball game later on so maybe I'll show you guys that and that might be the last thing that you guys see from me for this specific blog vlog because I feel like it's just so dragged out I also have some content to create for my hair page so yeah you guys I have a lot of things to do today kind of and it is currently 8 45 in the morning so let's run into this Walmart and get this coffee and let's come right back I'm back in the car and I actually got a different flavor of coffee. I usually get the Starbucks French vanilla coffee, but they didn't have it here. And I was like, you know what? Let's see what other type of ground coffee that they have. So I got this cinnamon vanilla um, ground coffee. And I got cinnamon because as you guys can see earlier in this vlog, I got me some cinnamon churro creamer. So I think that it will go well. And I also seen that I have great reviews. So I'm like, you know what? Why not try something new? It's also going to rain today. It looks kind of cloudy and gloomy outside. So I'm probably not going to vacuum my car because it makes no sense to vacuum my car if it's going to rain because it's going to get dirty again with mud and dirt. So right now I'm going to go and take a shower and record my little Instagram content and I'll show you guys my hairstyle once I'm finished with it. Okay, so I'm currently in the bathroom. I just finished recording my hair tutorial and this is how my hair is looking. Such a cute and a flirty, fun hairstyle. If you guys are interested in this hairstyle, it will be up on my feed already, which will be here at crondon.curls on TikTok and on Instagram. And I'll also have my name slash link down into the description box. So you guys can go ahead and check that out if you guys are looking for some natural hair inspo. I'm your girl. Call me. Okay, you guys. So I'm at the gym right now. I honestly did not think that I was going to film at the gym. But this is just two of the workouts that I do normally on my leg day. This is just a regular squat on the Smith machine. And I'm going to go into some hip thrust. I had some other workouts that I did in my leg day. But I only got to record only two of them. In the future, I will definitely be showing you guys more of my workouts and sharing with you guys more of my journey. But these are the two clips that I have for now. And them things was hurting, okay? Okay, so it's like every single time I pick up this camera, I'm in the car. But no, I'm always on the go. And I always remember to pick up the camera in the car. I'm like, oh, I forgot. I got to say something. So I did end up going to the car shop. And I did end up ordering the part that I need to fix my car or to fix the part that needs to be fixed in my car. Um, they actually do not have it in stock, so I had to order it, and it's supposed to come in between tomorrow and Monday. Today is the 4th of August, which is a Friday, and tomorrow is a Saturday, so we'll see if it gets delivered. If not, then I have to get it fixed next week, which is fine. Before this clip, you guys see me, I was at the gym. My sister only got time to record two of my leg day workout. Today was a leg day for me. Um, I'm still learning. I'm still working towards progress with my fitness journey. So please do not criticize me too much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. And I hope that this video was, you know, enjoyable. Please give me a big thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it. I'll see you guys into my next video.